A V-board is a floating wooden frame that is used to support silhouette decoys in a water hunting application. The V-board consists of a plywood hub, three arms that extend from that hub, the silhouette, and an anchor and line. I wanted to make some V-boards to supplement my floating Canada Goose decoys. Not knowing where to start and not wanting to reinvent the wheel, I did some research to see what was being done out there and identified what I thought were best practices and incorporated them into a design. Since my V-boards were for geese, I made the arms 30 inches long. Let's start with the hubs. The plan calls for the hubs to be made from half inch plywood. Ideally it would be pressure treated, which one of these scraps is. I'm just going to use scraps that I have laying around. Each V-board assembly requires two pieces of plywood that are 5 inches by 6 inches. It would be difficult to justify buying an entire sheet of plywood for that small amount. If you have scraps of other thicknesses besides half inch, you certainly want to use those. I'm going to cut these to length. Uh, the plan calls for six inches. For my plan, I made this template that I can use to quickly mark the locations of the holes that need to be drilled and the 45 degree cuts on the corners. I have two bolt holes I'm going to drill with a drill press. And each one of these hub plates, I'm all going to, so I'm going to have two screw holes. I'm going to use this combination drill and countersink and do that all in one operation.
So here are my hub plates. Got them all completed. They're ready to go. I'm moving on to the arms. And for the arms, I bought two pressure treated 2x4s by, by 8 foot. And from that, I'm going to get 12 30 inch arms. First thing I'm going to do is cut those to length. My arm material is cut to length, so my next step is to rip each one of these in half. Now in theory, my 2x4 should measure 3.5 inches wide, but as is often the case with pressure treated lumber, it's going to be awful wet and that dimension may be a little bit greater. If it were three and a half, I would set the width for inch and eleven sixteenths, and if I allow for an eighth inch saw curve, I should have two equally wide pieces. And there's my 12 arms. Now we're going to cut some bevels on the ends. The center arms of each of these assemblies is going to have an anchor line hole drilled in one end. The other end of that center arm will remain square. The outside arms of the assembly have this angle cut or set of angle cuts on one end. There needs to be a left and there needs to be a right. There's also a bolt hole drilled in there because that's going to rotate on that bolt. I'm headed down the home stretch. I just have to cut a slot in each arm now for the silhouette to fit into.
I think I'm ready for some assembly. Um, not using stainless hardware. I chose to use galvanized. So I'm using galvanized carriage bolts and I'm using green galvanized deck screws. With the two outside arms semi-assembled, I'm going to open them up to their fully open position. I'm going to mark that and use that to locate that center arm. Four assemblies, ready for silhouettes.